What's up, YouTube? It's the dawn, where shit gets real. Today, we're going to talk about a new Claromizer. It's called a high voltage. All right. <clears throat> I got this from... What's this the company? Um, the Vape Source company out in California. The price for it was 45 bucks. Um, I have seen them online. I think I've seen one. I just found one for like 35 yeah, $34.95 at uh, Element Vape. Um, but yeah, so they're between 35 and 45 bucks. So, what it is, is a, it's another sub-owned clearmizer. Um, this one claims that you can go up to 100 watts. Um, I haven't took in mine to 100 watts. Um, I really don't see no need for it, but <clears throat> I've seen other people do it, or I've seen a video where a guy took it up that, that far. You know, right now I'm vaping at 50 watts, and it's fine. Let me take a tote. Now, it has way more airflow. Let me open this thing up to the widest flow. <laughs> it has way more airflow, in my opinion, than the Atlantis. Um, let me take a tote with this wide open at 50 watts. Yeah, it's it, if, if you guys are into clouds, you guys might like this one. Um, I'm not really into clouds. I like, you know, I like these for the convenience of it and still getting somewhat of a dripper style vape um but when we dive up close it has some unique features it has a uh, airflow on the drip tip uh, i'll show you that i don't know if you can see that it has airflow on the drip tip and the cool thing about it is the airflow i don't know if you can hear that they snap in place when you turn it, it snaps. So that's that's cool. I mean, the air, the drip tip itself is <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's not worth forty five bucks for the drip tip, but the drip tip is cool. And it's not a wide bore drip tip. I mean, it kind of it's kind of I would say your standard size drip tip. Let me see. Yeah, it's your standard size drip tip. Um, it's not a wide bore, but it does have that airflow option on it. Um. So when we dive up close, I will show you all the ins and out of it. Let me take another tote. Man, it's good. I, I will say it's good. Now, the last time they came out with a Clearo, <clears throat> like this Delta, uh, I thought that it had cotton in it. Um, and it didn't so this one claims that it has all cotton in it i'm not going to tear apart the coil because i don't have a whole bunch of extra ones I only have the two it came with two um but when i get some more i will tear it apart and see what it is but i'm sure somebody else will tear it apart but as far as flavor i'm getting right now i'm, I'm gonna make a review on this this right here is like some of the most under not under but not talked about good juice out there. Right vapes. It's it's a pretty penny. You know, it's it's up there with five pawns. But the difference between this and five pawns is this juice you can drip all day long. So if you like five pawns and you like, you know, paying that type of money for juice and you like good flavors, get us get these people a shot. This is like the most best juice that not a lot of people talk about but when once you get it you'll know exactly what i mean this is some very good shit but that video is not about that i'm gonna make a video about that because it's got some pros and cons to it but let me take another tote before we go down close man it's 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 good i'm, I'm the flavor is there wow let me take it up to Let's see, let's take it up to 75 watts. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to be vaping this at 100 watts. I, I, don't, I don't see no need for that. 
but you may. So at 75, okay, by the way, the coil reads uh, 0.27. Um, so it's almost 0.3, but it claims 0.2. Um, so it's reading, now it's yeah, 0.27. So right now I'm at 75 watts, uh, 4.5 volts. see that so I'll fire it off at 75 watts <laughs> it's good it's good wow that's wow that's good I have my uh, airflow on my drip tip closed off let me try it with it open see how that is Wow, <laughs> wow, that's good. Um, that's the first time I ever took it up that high. I always, you know, I only had it for a couple of days, but I only vaped it at, you know, 50 watts. But that's pretty good. Um, so, it does suck up the juice. I will tell you that. It sucks up the juice. It has a 5 mil uh, tank, you know, like the Delta, the... Uh, What's that? Atlantis. I just gave away my Atlantis, so I can't really put a side-by-side -side to it, but I just gave it away. Somebody said they needed, you know, some equipment. So, that's that's me. I'm always sending somebody something, but when I dive up close, I will put it side-by-side -side for side comparisons to the Delta. So, let me dive up close. Okay, here we are up close. I'm sorry for the glare. It's just this this uh lighting um so here's the box that it comes in it's not a lot to the box um it has a couple emblems on the side it says 18 or older it has a picture of a pregnant woman um it has a picture of a fork and wine glass i'm not sure about that one <clears throat> but anyway uh it says designed in california assembled in china and on the bottom it says danger high voltage authorized personnel only all right so let's just jump right into this um here's a coil so the coils have two large openings. Um, if I had to guess, I would say they're about five, six millimeters long. Um, but that's just me guessing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it might be longer than that. But anyway, it has two of them, um, one on each side. Um, unlike the Delta that has three. Here's a Delta coil. One, two, three. Um, but looking at those small compared to that opening, I think one of these is equivalent to all three of those. Okay, so you're getting your cotton pretty saturated with this. Okay, if you look down inside, you can see that there is a screen mesh. It doesn't do a great job of covering all of the cotton. The thing would focus, but there is a screen mesh in there. And from looking down in there, it looks like it's, you know, it's a dual horizontal, I mean, a yeah, horizontal coil in there. I'm not real sure, but I'm not going to tear this one apart because I don't have many other coils. Um, and right now it's really hard to find them in stock at places since this is fairly new. Okay, so that's a look at the coil. Let's look at the actual tank itself. All right. So... It's a five mil design, which is great. Let's, let's start with this drip tip. <clears throat> All right, so the drip tip, as you can see, it's not a wide bore, but it has this airflow on the side. Um, and they click. And like, like the bottom, if one side is open, as you can see, you can see right through it, the other side is open. So it has dual, you have a large, medium and small it's kind of cool you know the weight of it it's it doesn't feel like really light but <clears throat> it seems like it's some kind of coating on here that it may or may not chip off i'm not sure i'm not a metal metalologist but uh that's that now on the bottom here here's the airflow so you got one massive hole times three so the holes here, here, 
in here. Three massive air holes. And of course it has three different sizes. Okay, so that's the largest, that's the smallest. It would be open there, there, and there. And this is the medium, it would be open there, there, and there. And again, the largest. Now, this clicks in place, Let's see if you can hear it, which is nice, and it's nice and smooth. It's not real hard to turn, which is good. You know how sometimes you get juice on your hand and it's slippery? It's got these little rivets in here, I guess, for you to grip, and it's been working flawlessly. Okay, so let's go to the bottom. On the bottom, there is an adjustable 510 pin, but it is really loose. As you can see, see how loose that is? You move that around. See if I can get it better. It's really loose. So I know there's like a scare right now on using these on hybrid mods. I still would not use this on a hybrid mod because it's so loose and it's not. It's real like if you backed it out, it could easily get you know pushed back in. It's loose. It's not secure. And you know, you you know, you would think to put some Loctite in there or something, but that may mess with your um, conductivity. So it is adjustable and when it's tight, it's almost recessed up in there. So I would definitely not use this on one of those hybrid uh, mech mods. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to the top. It takes five mil of juice. Let me take this apart. It's just like the Atlantis, just like the Delta. Um, yeah, it's not. <laughs> I was about to say, where did my, <laughs> where did my thing go? It's right here. Okay, so <clears throat> this right here, you know, fits in here just like it would on an Atlantis or a Delta or on a sub tank. It's the same principle. Um, let me show you inside of there. You know, this pin makes connection to that copper pin that's down there um, and if you were to ever get any leaking that's where all your leaking would go down there into the airflow okay so that goes there now the good thing about this one over top of the Delta is this glass all, all this comes apart so let me take it apart for you so you unscrew this part and this is your chimney so one thing I didn't say is when you're putting this in here, you have to line this up so that these holes are to your are to your uh, your wicks. Now, I guess you could adjust it a little bit since you could turn it like this, but at the very bottom, you'll see it'll always be exposed. Always. I don't even think it goes up that far. I think it goes up like this far because this right here is hitting the chimney. So the bottom of it is always exposed, but when I line mine up, I line it up so that one of those holes are directly in front of the wicking channel. Okay, so yeah, this part right here comes apart, like I just showed you, and the glass comes out. Now, they did not bring, you know, put in an extra piece of glass in this kit, but, and I'm not sure if the any other glass fit this one. I'm going to be gentle with it because I don't want to break it. It's very thin. So as you can see, it, the glass does come out. It has an O-ring on the bottom and on the, top, on, on the top. This little cage, as you would call it. So let me try to put this back together. Sometimes I don't see how those guys do this on camera. This is pretty difficult. So, yeah, screws right back in, like so. It's caught up on the bottom. There we go. Yeah, those O rings <clears throat> look very flimsy. So yeah, there you go. It's easier to clean, much easier to clean than the Delta. And it's pretty easy to fill. I already have some juice in the syringe. But you would just take your dripper, tilt it to the side like so. And fill. And 
and you would fill up to those those uh, holes in the top because of course if you over filled it it would drip down that and through your drip tip so let me put this back together and there she is pretty nice pretty nice um, let's do the height comparison to the Delta there's a Delta let me take this drip tip off there's a Delta it's exactly it's almost the same exact height it's like a tad let's see. it's a tad taller a tad I say about a millimeter and a half it's a tad taller than the Delta um, and it's the same, you know, 22 millimeters. So, it's the same size as the Delta, but you can get 5 mil more, which is a good deal. You know, that's the only problem I had with the Delta. One is filling it. Um, it only, you know, took 3 mil, um, and it was hard as hell to clean. This one right here, you can totally disassemble the whole thing. So, let's go back up top and talk more about this alright guys we're back up top <clears throat> um, I am really enjoying this thing let me take a tote man it puts out some really good flavor um, I was really surprised that it the flavor was as good as good as it is sometimes with these clearos you get like a little peppery sharp taste this one was, you know, straight flavor. Um, I was surprised. I am really digging that it holds five mils. Um, that was like the downfall of some of these Clearos, like the Delta and the uh, the uh, the Atlantis, and a couple other ones, the Sub Tank. Um, but this one, <laughs> I'm kind of digging this one. Let me take another tote. Listen, you guys that are just getting into this, you guys are so lucky. You know, when I first started, a Clearo that tastes this good with this much airflow was a wet dream. Man, they've come a long way on this. Um, just a airflow in the drip tip. I mean, look at that thing. That thing is kind of sexy. It is a sexy. This thing is really sexy. I am really digging this. I forgot to show you guys the... Uh, the little emblems on it. I'll take it off real quick. It's got like a little ohm figure on there. I don't know if the camera will focus. And then on the other side, it's got the little danger emblem with a lightning bolt through it, which is pretty cool. Um, again, I would definitely not use this on a hybrid just because of that. Even though the, 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 the pin is adjustable, it is really loose when it's when it's hanging out when it's protruding it's really loose and um, I don't want to see nobody get hurt so like twisted said like uh, Matt made a video just on that don't don't even do it use these use these type devices on a regulated box you you will enjoy it more um, I mean you you could use them on max but you can really dial in your wattage on a box let me take a tote Man, this thing is putting out. It's really good. Um, would I buy another one? Hell yeah, I would buy another one. This thing is nice. I, I am really enjoying it. Really don't have no complaints as of yet. Now, it's new. Like I said, I only had it a couple of days, but those couple of days, been, I've been really, really, really enjoying this thing. So, yeah, I will post a link where I bought mine. I think they still have some more in stock. But the price range is between 35 and 45 bucks. Now you have a little coupon code. I had like a 5% off coupon code. It still came to like 47 bucks. So it's kind of a little pricey for a Claro. But, you know, if that's what you're into, I would definitely try this one out. Now I haven't played with the Arctic as of yet. Um, but there's another one out there. I'm sure you've probably seen a thousand videos on those. But this one for me is a go I would definitely recommend this one yeah go out go out and get one of these things this thing is nice let me take another tote
and the flavor, wow, it's it's good, it's good, um, it's good. It doesn't give you that dry, harsh vape. You know that Atlantis was infamous for that. You know, a lot of people said, "Oh, the Atlantis flavor was great." From day one, I really didn't like it because it just tasted a little harsh. It made a lot of juice um, taste like it had more nick in it to me. Now, to you, maybe it was just my coils. Maybe to you it tasted different. But just to me, that, whatever they used in there, it made the juice taste a little bit more peppery. But that's all I really got for you guys on this. Now, we'll be shooting some more videos today because I got a shitload of juice came in today. And one of them is this right here. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to talk about this. And my man Steve Tig, he sent me a whole line of, what is this, um, Fog Yourself? Yeah, I mean, he sent me the whole line of it. Shout out to you, Steve. Steve is one, I think, if they ever come up with uh, Vapors Anonymous or Juice Anonymous, Steve is going to be the first member. This dude buys every damn thing. But um, that's, you know, to each his own. That's what he does. That's what he does. I don't knock him because he gives me what he don't like or gives me when he overbuys, he gives it to me. So I'm not really complaining. Shout out to you, Steve. Thanks. And shout out to Matt um, for what he did. I will let you guys know what he did for me in a later video. But um, shout out to you, Matt. Let me take another tote. And until the next time, pay it forward.